The last tool we're going to look at is called the patch tool. Uh, and um, it's used for matching various parts of the photo. So what we want to do is remove this sign from over this valve. Before I do that, let me show you what Content Aware Fill would do. So let's duplicate the layer, Control J or Command J. And then we're going to use our lasso tool and select around this sign and edit, fill, OK. Now, what you see here is it's kind of blurred the texture here. It's going to have a hard time figuring out what to put behind there. So let's see what the patch tool can do for us. We are uh, create a blank layer. And the patch tool is over here on the left underneath the healing brush. And we will select it like we would with the lasso tool. Now notice we have this double arrow, double headed arrow, and that means we can move this piece of the image around to try to find some matching uh, texture that would look good there. So we can move this around to we think it matches the area and let it go. And then what we'll see here is we'll control D to get rid of it. And that's pretty good. We have a little bit, again, like on the edges, sometimes there's a blending issue. So we'll just grab our spot healing brush and a little bit right here and right down on this edge to blend it a little better. There we go. So let's look what we did. So with the sign without the sign. I find that I don't have uh, a lot of use for the patch tool, but when I do, when I'm trying to match a texture or even some lines, especially like uh, backgrounds, uh, the uh, painted rocks at the zoo, things like that, it can come in very handy for doing that. 